races. Snake races. You don't see that every day. No, you said that you have some experience. I've gone into a rattlesnake yeah. pit a day in my life. How was it? Uh, I'll never forget the smell. You <laughs> never forget okay. that smell. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, were they rattling around you? Oh, yeah. They were doing a lot of things. Okay. You didn't feel unsafe? Mm, I'm here today, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm interviewing her. I'm I know, curious I about know. the rattlesnake. We're going to yeah. send you next year. Then. Yeah. <laughs> but you know who doesn't care for this cold weather is snakes. Are you someone who minds the weather? It's, it's kind of like uh, I know what's coming, so I'm embracing this True. right now. Yeah, True. the heat's not that far away. We're talking about the Frito Pie Cast, mm. so uh, we'll bring it up. Today was a good day for it. It was damp this morning, but as the week progresses, uh, we're going to get warmer, more humid, a little more sunshine, so it'll trend down the Frito Pie Cast will over the next several days. It is chilly out right now. Temperatures are in the mid 50s. Uh, northwest wind at five miles per hour. We've dropped the rain though throughout the region. Everybody is in the 50s, the low 50s out in Hebronville, mid 50s at the beach. Not the best way to finish up spring break, but a warming trend is on its way into next week. You see the clouds still moving through the region uh, from west to east. Tonight's going to be cold, 40s and middle to lower 50s overnight. A spot shower possible tomorrow. More people. Uh, will not get rain by a lot than those that may get a little spritz mid 60s for the first day of spring tomorrow will stay in the 60s into Tuesday morning and back to the 70s close to seasonal average on Tuesday with middle to upper 70s headed our direction. You see that a shield of rain that passed over South Texas this morning that is now long gone and what we're going to watch this week the spur to the warming trend is going to be high pressure moving into the Gulf of Mexico and the contrast between that and an approaching system that's going to be what renders us a lot more breezy and on those south winds will come the warmth and humidity and followed by a little weak front heading into Friday. So this is how it may look. A little rain chance with it, and this front is not going to do much to temperatures. So we're going to get this warm up, and then we'll stay there despite this weak front on Friday. Now you see the 80s as early as Wednesday, Thursday, with more humidity coming in. Overnight lows will be a lot milder, staying close to 70 both Thursday and Friday mornings. A little cooler by Saturday morning behind that front, and a little drop in humidity, but it's going to be noticeably more sticky feeling, especially by the middle of middle of the week to come uh, with the muggy meter registering on the high end of the humid category. So uh, overnight close to 50, it'll be cloudy, cold with a light breeze east to northeast under 10 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon, middle 60s, not as cold as the weekend, but still five to 10 degrees below seasonal average for the date. Winds will turn southeasterly 10 to 20 miles per hour. It'll be a little bit breezy, so if you're trying to get out on the water, bays are going to be on the choppy side, four to seven foot waves. And again, that east to southeasterly breeze, 10 to 17 knots over the next seven days. Spring again begins officially tomorrow with cloudy skies and a high of 65. We'll be back into the 70s on Tuesday. The wind pick up, especially on Wednesday and Thursday. They'll be out of the southeast 20 to 35 miles per hour. Middle 80s here on Thursday. That front again comes in Friday may give us a little chance for rain. Doesn't do a whole lot to afternoon high temperatures. We may even sneak in a sunny delight next Saturday, Alexis. Looking